Spain, in France, called Agde. I want to tell you about the story of if Fred was here. And uh, this started when uh, a woman kept uh, saying how great her ex was and how he knew everything, how he knew to do everything right at the right time and end at the right time and start at the right time, always make the right decision, never make any mistakes. Basically, he walked on water. And uh, this story basically uh, depicts women who tell you, who, uh, who uh, try to torture you by telling you how great their exes were at treating women and doing everything right and, and how you fall short, when in fact this is uh, nothing but a, a long, big smelling pile of you know what. If they were so great, they would still be together, right? Well, this uh, man was driving uh, in the back of a, a man was riding in the back of a taxi, and uh, uh, the taxi driver could not uh, find uh, the address. Well, the man uh, the man tells the taxi driver while his wife his current wife is sitting next to him. He says, "Well, if Fred was here, he would know exactly the address and the best way to get there and the fastest route by avoiding all the traffic lights." And. Uh, the radio was uh, reporting the today's uh, you know the day's uh, stock market report and the man again sitting in the back says well if fred was here he would know exactly when to get into the market when to get out and make the maximum profit out of it uh, to the surprise of all professional money managers and then the radio changes and they're talking about the weather and the man says well if fred was here uh, he would know exactly when to go to avoid any cloud and rain and bad weather and and uh, exactly leave before the bad weather starts so the taxi driver gets uh, curious and says excuse me but who is this uh, fred character you keep referring to he says oh it's my wife's uh, ex-husband and he was of course being facetious and uh, this the point of this story is that uh, the women who keep telling you how great other men were at treating them, how great they were at taking care of them, knowing their needs and fulfilling it perfectly and all that, which is nothing but a long string of BS. Because if that was the case, they would be uh, with them. The best question to ask is, where are they? And if you've, uh, if you've uh, had any uh, 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 long uh, range of experiences with various women, you know that sooner or later in dealing with them, that discussion will, that talk, kind of talk will come up where they uh, here and there uh, tell you, oh, how uh, their ex was so much better at doing this, at doing that, and at uh, buying and selling things, at making love to her, at uh, predicting her needs, at carrying the heavy things for her, taking out the trash, doing this, doing that, making the mortgage payment on time, everything, everything that he did so perfectly and uh, you are falling short and this is just their manipulative tactic unfortunately that they use they don't even consciously sometimes know that they're using it to basically force you to keep to keep trying harder to fulfill her needs and wants because uh, believe me gentlemen no matter what they say the old saying never look at what they say always look at what they do if those men were so great, they would be with them. And the reason they're with you is because they can't find anything better. And never fool yourself for one second. The moment they do, they'll be gone. If they can, of course, as always I say. If they have the looks and the youth and uh, enough outer appearance to attract others. So discard all that BS that women say and uh, know the truth that they are with you because they deem you the best that they can get. Key words here are the best that they can get, not necessarily the best that's out there, but the best that they can get. That is always the case. There is no exception because the moment they uh, are able to secure something better for themselves, hypergamy steps in and they'll be gone. I hope this has been uh, helpful. I hope you've uh, been able to catch uh, the, the point of this uh, story because this will help you in life. This will help you weed out the BS and know the real truth and discard what they're actually saying and read between the lines and listen to the silence between the notes to hear the best part of the music. 
All the best signing out from ACT in the south of France on this 11th day, beautiful August 2021.